Hello everybody and welcome back to Pirate and Ninja Productions. My name is Proteus and this is episode 9 of Antimatter Chemistry. Uh, uh, so, uh, not much has changed over here. Although I have been, I've been spending so much time running back and forth and back and forth between these two places. I still have not managed to fully move everything over yet. Um, I did complete the... Um, a couple quests. <laughs> I completed the energy sacrifice. There's no reward, so I couldn't leave it uncompleted. I completed the water, and I did actually finish the steel, so I can now submit that, and all three are done. So, now some more recipes have been... Uh, oh, the wrong keyboard bind. Um, I did use some steel as well to craft some things, um, but basically in order to get enough power, I basically just sat here and did this for a while yeah I haven't improved my uh, my power gen much I did upgrade s all but two of these up to hardened level um, it doesn't really help that much but it does help enough okay so now we have to create a scarab oh no not platinum Where else do we get platinum from? Hmm, don't think I have access to any of these things. So andesite and polished andesite are my best places to get platinum. Let's see if I, because I have done some polished andesite before. Let's see if I've got any platinum yet. I don't think I have. Platinum 78. Gold is 79, so it would be right there. So no, do not have it. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to run a bunch of polished andesite, which is just silicon dioxide, um, through in order to get that section of it. Oh, I keep doing that. Sorry, I've been playing other games that have those keybinds, so... My apologies. Uh, so demon ingots, that's easy enough to get. And then a cobalt large plate. I think I have some cobalt that I can just smelt down. Because um, I did gather a little bit and I haven't used the majority of it, I don't think. Oh yeah, before I get into that, another thing I did was I created armor from Constructs Armory. I used arm uh, uh, the iron to make them. But then I also added a steel uh, polishing kit, so it gives it a higher level of toughness. It's not the best armor we can possibly make, but it's pretty good. I'm really running low on power for this again. I'm gonna have to do that or fix that later. Um, cobalt. Need four cobalt, and I do need some gold. Um, I'm just gonna melt all of the gold. I think. Why not? So I'll just melt all of this down. I don't really want a polishing kit. I want a large plate and an ingot. Large plate you can go down first. Although the gold will actually be coming out first, but that's fine. I'll just get a block of it. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is gather all the resources required to make a scarab. Oh, do I have two diamonds left? No, I don't have any diamonds left. <laughs> Inventory blindness. I've been told it's a thing. All right. So, the way to make demon ingots, for those who are unaware, is to take gold and drop it into this formation of nether bricks on 
four sides plus the bottom of a block of lava. And you drop it in and you should get, you have a 50% chance of losing it by default. See? I just need four though, so that's all I'm getting. Alright, has the cobalt melted yet? It has. And once this fills up, I'm just going to turn the auto dropper back on because I don't feel like sitting here getting rid of all the gold back out. But I can stick all this in there. I put the bucket back, why not? And as soon as this is done, we'll have a little cobalt plate. And then I just need to go and break down a ton of andesite in order to make, um, in order to find enough platinum to make some platinum. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll be back once I've gotten enough. Okay, so I did manage to get one platinum ingot out of five stacks of andesite. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. But now uh, we can use that to make a scarab. One scarab. Quest complete. Unlocked an advancement. And bread. Huh, I'll take the bread. So now... I need to build the portal. <sighs> so I need 25 sandstone. I need a lot of sandstone. How much sand do I have? Um, probably not enough. Nope, that's only 15 sand. Alrighty. Um, and sand is made from silicon dioxide. Oh, really? Let's just uh, make some sand. Is there an easier way? No, there isn't. Okay. I was expecting that. But that'll get me uh, not nearly enough. All right, so in order to make the portal, um, one, two, three, four, five, five, and I need one more plus more. So I'm going to have to go make a bunch more sand, which means I'm going to have to take some of this cobble, crush it down in a pulverizer. Where's my pulverizer at? You know, I thought I had been, I thought I was done and I would pulled all this stuff down, but I guess not. I'm going to need more cobblestone than that. Eh, that'll do for now. That'll get me another 16 sandstone. Oh my goodness. Um... All right, give me some, give me like two double. Yeah, that'll be enough, maybe. No, two more. Maybe five stacks plus one will get me enough. Oh, that's right, I have to crush it down to gravel and then to sand. Oh, this is gonna take forever. All right, well, I, uh, I guess that's going to be a good time for another cut. Got myself some more sandstone. So you build like this, like this, like this, and then, oh, uh, here we go. Square ring, make two block tall pillars on of sandstone on the top of each corner of the ring. So like that. And then it said, fill it with water and drop the scarab in. Oh, bucket. I would like a bucket or two. 
need to stop running, I guess. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's hope that counts, and then um, b b b drop. Ooh, pretty. All right, are we all ready to die? Let's die. We will all die together when we die. Hello. Here we are. Quest completed. Atom Land of the Sands. And, uh... Oh, look. There's people staring at us. Should we go say hi? Let's go say hi. Um, but let me first... Make a portal. Tele uh, teleport just... Yikes, these guys, these guys get kind of hard. Or maybe my, um, maybe my armor is just terrible. I'm, I'm sure my armor is just terrible. Deadwood, logs, strange sand. Oh, hello. Yep, we're going back, um, we're going back home. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a little scary there. I, I do think. Need better food, a better weapon, better armor, and definitely a bow. But, nothing good. Okay. Put the apple away. I'll put the caffeine and the magnesium sulfate away for now. Put the rest of the sands down. Ba -ba -ba. Alright, time to go drop everything into here. I think I have all of these elements that are in my inventory except for the platinum. Let's find out though. Oh, I didn't have the calcium either. Okay, well platinum can go there. Calcium was number 20. What is, what is iron? 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. So potassium is 19. So calcium will be 20. Yay! Slowly filling up the entire board until we have a full-on thing. Well, now, uh, what does that do? When you die, you will keep your equipment and your active items. Nice. Here we are, Chapter 4. I want this more recipes unlocked because this is where we get access to some of our better power gen stuff but i have to kill two pharaohs first unmodified steel armor and an unmodified blade are not sufficient i i i don't even have steel armor right now <laughs> so um this, this is gonna take a little bit of a uh, little bit of research, I think. I think. Oh, this is good food, though. Uh, there you go, chicken sandwich. Uh, how do I make the t chicken sandwich? Two bread slices and some chicken. Bread. Oh, okay, I can do that. Put that in there. It's basically a multiple use. Um, Totem of Undying from Vanilla, which I've never actually gotten one in Survival Vanilla before. Huh. I just just thought about that. Um, I'm going to throw the bow away because I, I can't exactly uh, use it. We got some torches. <sighs> All right. I'm going to need to make a lot more steel. Which means I'm going to have to go back to the deep dark and do a lot more mining. Thankfully, my iron hammer is now unbreakable. 
and so is my pickaxe. The only thing they're not is um, their speed is, is kind of terrible. So, not terrible. I mean, this is 2.4, so that's terrible. And this is 6, so that's okay. Durability, 84. But it's unbreakable, so I don't have to worry about durability anymore. Uh, but yeah, I need... Basically, I need a ton of coal in order to do, in order to convert all of this iron into steel. Oops. Or at least enough iron into steel to get uh, steel armor with add ons, which it looks like is the recommended path for this pack it is steel armor instead of iron armor. And I probably need to stop using my slime boots. Because reasons. Okay then. What else do we unlock? Some brown antimatter. Oh, we get into DML now. Deep mob learning. Uh, that's a good one. It's a good mod. Uh, I do enjoy it. Oh, uh, that does remind me. Hmm, I've killed one ghast. Cool. I did get. Oh, I, I talked about that on camera already. <sighs> Almost there to the... Ooh, growth crystals. Very nice. wonder if those work for... Uh, oh, they're disabled? Wait a minute. Growth crystal uh, requires potions. Uh, yeah, I don't have access to these. Yeah, because I have to actually start with deep mob learning before I have access to those, I think. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Those are not hard recipes at all. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay. So, time to go mining. I'll be back in a bit. So I did some things. I've got some uh, stuff. I made steel leggings, steel boot, everything steel. Um, and I did upgrade them. So I put on resistant diamond and reinforced. I put everything, I put that on everything except for um, the steel boots. I put two resistant instead of reinforced accidentally. That's fine. Um, and the steel chest plate has dextrous on it, which is something only the chest plate can get, which um, basically gives you extra um, attack damage. And then I made a manulin sword with a ardite wide guard and a copper uh, rod. So it gives me more uh, XP and ardite gives me a little bit more durability. And then I upgraded it with luck three and some quartz and um, what was the other one? Uh, nope, just luck three and some quartz. I do no longer have my uh, uh, no more fall damage, but um, pretty sure I'm not actually going to need it. I am going to need what is it? Royal torch. Yes. So I need charcoal and gold. I'm actually going to. Um, I should only need eight. I probably don't need eight, but I, I should only need at least, or at most, eight. So what these are used for, and I don't need that, or that, or that, or that. Uh, I'll keep that, though. Um, what the royal torches are used for is actually for summoning the pharaoh. Now, I've tested this, and the pharaoh, um, oh, wrong way. The pharaoh is um, in his sarcophagus when you find him, and you have to waken him. So, yeah, first of course, we gotta find him, and I should have brought a shield. Let me uh, let me see if I can make a shield real quick. It would help do, dealing with these arrow guys. Oh, come on. yes, there we go. Um, oh good, thermal shields are in here. 
Oh, that's interesting. Uh, that's shield. E that stuff I don't have access to yet. Um, so I can do a copper shield, tin. That has the highest durability. Uh, 450 is highest. Ooh, aluminum has nickel. Or platinum, but I, I don't have enough platinum. Steel is pretty high. Invar. Invar is actually higher than steel. Looks like... Oh, diamond. I could make a diamond shield. How many di I can't make a diamond shield. I mean, I could. I just don't, I just don't feel like it. So an invar. I need one, two, three, four, five, six invar ingots. And enough to make a shield, of course. Got to make the base shield. Done. Okay. Invar. I, have, I already have enough invar. Okay. Now, for anyone who doesn't know... Uh, Shields can block projectiles and creepers and are therefore extremely useful against jerks like this and this. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow, this sword is so much better. I should have gotten a ranged weapon, too. Ooh, ooh, is this a pyramid? So what we're looking for... Is a pyramid, which this does look very much like a pyramid. Um, and yeesh, so many enemies. Go away. You missed, dude. Alright. Let me eat something real quick before this guy... I got some scimitars, a great sword, a, a short bow, some dirty coins. I'm going to need those coins later. I'm going to stick those in my satchel. Okay. So yes, um, as you may suspect, pharaohs buried in pyramids. This looks awful small though, so it may not be the correct pyramid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't have an entrance, so I'm going to guess not. Would help if I attacked them with my sword, huh? Where's the difficulty set at? Is that normal? These guys are just everywhere. Oh, great. So, assassins carry poison blades, which kind of makes sense considering they're assassins and all that, but does not make me a happy person. <laughs> I like not having to worry about that. I'm already having trouble staying alive. Yeah, I've already killed almost 40 of these jerk faces. Stop surviving! On the plus side, they have... That's cool. Huh. Coal. I wonder if this area is a good, uh, uh, would make a good mining outpost. You know, assuming I could survive. <laughs> Fall damage! Alright, so I'm going to keep exploring for one of these, uh, 
pyramids, and I'll be back with you once I found one. Well, um, we're going to end the episode here on kind of a oops, I messed up note. Um, I just did the entire fight with the uh, pharaoh and everything and killed him and almost nearly died myself. And um, apparently the record button didn't hit take when I hit it so I killed a pharaoh off camera and it was a tough fight and wow it was fun too um mostly so yeah um I don't really have time to go find another one and kill him today uh, plus we're getting actually kind of close to the wrap up time for an episode for today anyways so what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna wrap up the episode here I'm trying to sneak out of this place. Um, ow. And um, on the next episode, we will uh, continue our search for a new um, one of these guys. And I'm going to do that. And we're not going to go out there. Um, temporary home. Set home pyramid. So this will be our home to search for beginning at the beginning of the next episode. I am going to pop back to the base in between and drop off all of this stuff and maybe add something new to the manual and broadsword as well. But yeah, uh, I do I do apologize for that too. So uh <sighs> whoops. I guess I had to come sooner or later when I was would do a whole sequence and forget that I or and not forget and think I was recording. But um <laughs> oops. So uh yeah. Uh next time we will actually do a pharaoh fight on camera and that will complete oh well, let's grab one of those too. Um that will complete this quest for chapter beginning of chapter four allowing us to access more recipes and we'll have plenty of coins to do this so we can move straight into getting towards um some deep mob learning which will get us to the end eventually which um is great because i think the end is actually occupied so we'll have to you know kill a dragon but until then, um, I am going to sign off, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later.